What's going on all you gamers? Today we're going to be playing more Elden Ring and I'll be showing you a location that is amazing for getting runes early to mid game. If you want hundreds of random runes easy, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls. As always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox. Then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon? I bring you all the latest and greatest in content, hints, tips, guides and builds, and just some fun gameplay and reviews of upcoming games. But for today I'm here to show you a farm that is just really worth knowing. You're going to earn roughly 500 plus K an hour, and it's just one of the better ones I've seen in the game, for how easy it actually is. You can do this early, you can do it mid, but the main thing you're going to need to do is go to this place right here, and that's the Dragon Borough Fork over in Kaled. If you're not sure how to get here, then have a little look at my last rune farming video. There's a quite easy way to get to roughly this location. Let's go into the third church of Marika, go into a teleporter in the bushes, and then after that you'd have to make your way down to here by traveling. From this site of grace, just equip whatever you find best for taking out enemies. Probably something with a bit of AoE damage or multi-target will work best. Now I've got zero runes on me at the moment, as you can see, because I've just made sure I died over on the right to make it nice and easy for you to work things out. And then all we're going to do, just bop straight up this hill. Progressing up the hill is going to earn us around about 15k give or take, because there's about 14 or 15 enemies. These ones right here, I have run past about 3, 4, maybe even 5 times without hitting them, and never thought twice about it. So appreciate it to someone who commented on one of my other videos and told me that this was their best location, because honestly, it's a lot better than the last one I had with the old pinball trick. But yeah, you're going to be taking a mat. I'm not set up anywhere near the best, to be perfectly honest. So anyone who's got a nice bit of damage about himself or has got a nice error attack may well be able to do this a lot faster. Also, if you can group them up, so for example, if you get a horse and make you up the hill that way, that would also make the farm a little bit faster. But these guys do do a big chunk of change of damage, so be a little bit careful. The flip side to that though, they have quite low health, probably about 1400, maybe 1500. So if you can do some nice damage, you can take them out really fast and really efficiently. Now as we're making our way up, you've got to make sure that you kind of watch out for them because some of them do spawn from the ground and such. But every single time you hit them, every single time you kill them, I mean, you're going to get 1113 runes. It might not sound like much, but it actually racks up really, really fast. And when I did this for around about 45 minutes, I think I earned about 350,000, give or take. And like I said, I'm probably far from the best set up for this. Now, there's also two over here on the rock facing just there. So again, if you haven't got any range, you're probably just going to jump up there and just aggro them, or just punch them in the head. All good. Whatever the best way is for yourself. For me, I'm just going to bop them with a couple of spells and then completely miss that one because I was out of my FP, which I didn't realise. But last but not least, you're going to make it up to these two just up the top here. Watch out behind them because there is a kind of boss and he's pretty tough if you're low level. So I'd probably say don't go too far past this because you don't want to aggro that and lose all your runes. But when you're taking these enemies out, all you got to do, nice and easy. Once you finish them off, which I will in a moment. As I almost dodge roll backwards off of a cliff, which seems to be my forte in this game, falling off of kind of edges and cliffs. But yeah, I've missed one back here. Once we're going to take him out, we've probably been doing this for a couple of minutes, probably a little bit longer because I was doing it as a guide. And as you can see, we've pretty much net ourselves about 15k. From there, if you want to pick up their armor or whatever they've dropped, you very well can. Just run back down the hill, see what they've got. But if you don't worry about their goodies too much, what you can do, and probably the best and easiest way, would probably be just once you are at the top of the map, press your start button, and just fast travel straight back to this location, and rinse and repeat. Again, nice and easy, not too hard I don't think, it gives you an absolute abundance of runes if you're doing this for a little while. Hopefully this helps all you guys and girls out, as always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox, take care. 
I'll see you on the next day.